Good morning. This is a topic from the chapter of gravitation. Few videos were made, uh, were posted in my YouTube channel uh, from the chapter of gravitation. This is one of those topics. Uh, yeah, the topic is estimation of mass and density of the earth. Okay. The calculation is so easy. Okay. Uh, according to uh, Newton's law of universal gravitation, we know that. Uh, what do we know? The force of attraction between the earth and any object of mass m is given by this formula f is equal to g into m into m divided by r square okay r square where r is the radius of the earth okay m e e is the suffix m is the mass of earth and m is the mass of the object okay and uh, so this is Newton's universal law of gravitation this is the force of attraction between earth and the object of mass m here the value of g this is equal to known to you 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square and uh, r radius of r this is equal to 6400 kilometer okay so this is equal to what 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 meter 10 to the power 6 okay so this is the value of r now uh, from newton's second law of motion we know that force is equal to mass into acceleration force which causes acceleration is given by the formula force is equal to mass into acceleration where the mass is held constant here the object of the uh, mass of the object is constant which is equal to m so according to Newton's second law this f is equal to ma where a is the acceleration now since this acceleration is acceleration due to gravitation uh, gravitation okay this acceleration is due to gravity this is the gravitational this f is what gravitational pull of earth on the object okay so this A will be replaced by G. This is known to you. This was discussed earlier. Okay. G. G is acceleration due to gravity. Okay. And uh, what is the value of G? The average value of G at different places of the earth, means uh, surface of the earth, value of Gs are different, but one average value is used. And that average value is known to you that is equal to 9.81 meter per second square. Now, if you if you combine, say this is equation number one and this is equation number two. So, if you combine this one and two, then you are getting what? This is f. This is also f. Okay. So, mg is equal to this much. So, here I am writing uh, means g m e m divided by this r square. Okay, this is equal to what? This mg. Right. So from here, from both sides, m are cancelled. Small m's are cancelled. So what we are getting from here? m e, this is equal to what? g r square, g r square divided by capital G. Small g r square divided by capital G. This we are getting. And now you just uh, substitute the values for G, R and G. Small g, capital R and capital G. So what are the values? 9.81, this is for G. For R, this is equal to this value. So square of 6.4 into 10 to the power 6. Whole square divided by this capital G, which is equal to this much. 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11. Okay, if you calculate this, then you will get approximately this value 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg. Right. This is the mass of the earth, estimated value of 
uh, of the mass of R is this much, 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg. By using these values, we have obtained the mass of the earth. Let me check whether the entire board is visible or not. Yeah, the entire board is visible. And now we are uh, moving to, uh, we are moving for the calculation of, for the estimation of density of earth. Say density of earth is denoted by rho. And uh, here we know, we know that earth is assumed to be spherical. Though it is not exactly spherical, but it is assumed for the sake of uh, simplicity, it is assumed that uh, earth is spherical. So if earth is spherical, then what is the volume of the earth? It is 4 third pi r cube, where r is the radius of the earth. So we know that 4 third pi r cube, this is volume of the earth multiplied by density of earth. Say rho is the density of earth. So this is the mass of the earth. Therefore, this is equal to Me, mass of the earth. Now you just put the value of Me, which is equal to this much, and put the value of R, which is equal to this much, then you will get the value of rho. Okay. So I am showing it here. Okay, I am showing it here. So from here, from this line, we are getting what? Rho is equal to 3 into Me, 3 into Me divided by 4 pi r cube. And now just put the values. 3 into 6 into 10 to the power 24 value of uh, mass of the earth divided by 4 into 3.14 value of pi is 3.14 and r is <coughs> 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 okay here mass is in kg okay mass is in kg and uh, this r is in uh, meter, therefore, the value will be 5.54 into 10 to the power 3 kg per cubic meter. <coughs> you just check, okay, you make your own calculation by using your calculator, okay. Approximately this value you will get 5.54 into 10 to the power 3 kg per cubic meter. This is the average value of the earth. We know that density of earth means uh, at each and every point of the earth, density is not same, but this is what? This is the average value. Okay. So anyway, so this way, just by using universal law of uh, Newton's universal law of gravitation, and uh, with that, uh, by using Newton's second law of motion, we, ha we have been able to estimate the value of the mass of the earth and uh, as well as value of the density of the earth. Okay. So this is the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching this video.